in this cosmos. Do you want some facts on baguettes? I'm just feeding you the stories. Maybe this is The Context. The Context. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Live from London, this is BBC News. Israel says the ground offensive in the south of Gaza has begun. A senior military leader says the operation will be conducted with no less strength than in the north. One person is killed in a knife and hammer attack in central Paris. Anti-terror police says the suspect had pledged himself to the Islamic State group. Weather warnings for snow and ice have been issued in places across the UK after heavy snowfall caused major disruption. Hello, welcome to BBC News. I'm Kylie Pentelow. The Israeli Defence Forces have announced the beginning of a new ground operation in southern Gaza, just north of the city of Khan Yunis. Israel's chief of the general staff, Lieutenant General Herzi Levivi, told troops that the operators in the south would be conducted with no less strength than in the north. Israel continued its renewed bombardment of Gaza for a third day, having told more Palestinians to leave areas in and around Khan Yunus immediately. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says more than 15,500 people have now been killed there since the start of the conflict between Israel and Hamas, which is considered a terrorist organisation by the UK government. Well, let's take a look at this live scene now from outside our NASA hospital in Khan Yunus, an area that has been under frequent assault. The scenes both inside and outside the hospital are traumatic. These pictures were shot today. Children are among those being driven to the hospital, carried inside by family and friends. For many, the journey to hospital was too late. A senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister has insisted Israel is doing all it can to minimize the number of civilian deaths in Gaza after the US Defense Secretary Lord Lloyd Austin said Israel had a moral responsibility to minimize casualties not linked to Hamas. Our diplomatic correspondent Paul Adams has this report and a warning that it does contain images that viewers may find distressing. <laughs> 